Hi everybody, welcome back to Storytime. I'm Jordan and I'm from the Bowen Island Public Library and I'm so happy you're here with me today for our story time. And to start our story time, we are gonna sing a song. And for this song, you need to clap, to stomp your feet, and if you can find a seat to sit in, sit down or come sit on the floor with me and we're gonna sing to say hello. So if you're all seated and ready, we are gonna sing. You can follow after me. We go, if you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Yay! Thanks again for being here. And today our theme is monkeys. Are you a monkey? Are you silly like a monkey? Can you make a monkey impression like me? What kind of monkey are you like? Are you a goofy monkey? Are you a happy monkey? Are you a quiet monkey? There's lots of different types of monkeys you can be today. We're gonna explore a few different stories. And the first one I have for you today is gonna be a drawing story. We haven't done this before, so I'm excited to show you our first story. Ready? I'm gonna jump up and pop into the corner. One, two, three, what? Ta-da! I'm up in the corner. Hi! And I'm gonna tell you our story today. It's called Banana Cream Pie. Mmm! I love dessert and this is a fun story. And I'm gonna draw it for you as we hear the story. So I hope you enjoy. So Banana Cream Pie. And the story is about Jessie. Jessie lived in a little house on Richmond Hill. So let's draw the hill that Jessie lived on. Here is her hill, and let's draw her house. So we're going to draw a little house for Jessie on that hill, and let's make a door too. That's the door. One fine morning when the sun was shining and the birds were singing, well if it's sunny, we should make some sunshine. So let's make some sunshine. It's sunny. There's the sun up behind the hill. So Jessie on this sunny day decided she wanted to bake banana cream pie. Mm -mm -mm. Josh wanted to help bake too, but he wasn't very much help. He juggled with the bananas and the eggs. He spilled the flour. He walked on the table and he knocked over the milk. So finally, Jessie sent him outside to play in the sun and she finished the pie by herself. When the pie was cooled, Jessie called Josh and they sat down and ate half of it together. So let's draw the pie with only half of it eaten. So we're going to draw a half a pie. A full pie would be a circle, so this is a half circle. And they ate half, and then Jessie suggested, let's take the rest to Katie. Katie was Jessie's best friend, and she lived right next door to Jessie. So let's draw Katie's house, because they're going to go bring Katie some pie. There's Katie's house and oh she needs a door too right so let's draw a door for her. When they got to Katie's house the door was open. Well, you see open but no one was home. I bet she went to the swimming pool said Jessie. Josh you stay here and I'll be right back. She put the banana cream pie on the table and went to look for her friend. So she walked down the hill to the swimming pool. The swimming pool is down the hill so down there. And she goes and walks around the swimming pool. So where does Jessie walk? She walks around the pool to see if her friend Katie's there. She calls her name Katie, but she's not there. So she must be at the playground. But the playground is 
all the way far away. It's on the other side. So she's going to have to walk so far to go all around the playground, too, calling Katie. Katie, are you here? All she wants to do is give her some pie, so she's trying to find Katie. So to get to the playground, she has to walk pretty far. She's going to go the low way, low down here, to see if Katie's there. Finally, she finds her at the jungle gym. Katie, I have a surprise for you. We have to go back to your house. Okay, says Katie, let's go. Josh, we're back, they call when they get back to Katie's house. But Josh was gone, and someone had eaten all of the pie. Nibble, nibble, nibble. All that was left was two crumbs. Just two crumbs? Look at here's the crumbs that was that were left for one crumb for Katie and one crumb for Jesse. Oh, Katie, Josh ate your surprise. What was it, said Katie. It was a piece of banana cream pie. It's okay. Let's make another one. And the moral of the story, the lesson they learned was to never leave banana cream pie alone with a monkey. Do you see the monkey? Josh was a monkey all along. And there he is. And that's why he was being so silly, because he was a silly monkey. <laughs> Thanks. The end. Thanks for doing that story with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And now, are you ready for another song? Another monkey song? Can I see your monkey impression again? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Nice job. So the song I have to sing to you today is called Monkey See, Monkey Do, because monkeys like to copy you. And that's what we're gonna be singing about. So you need some space to move around a little bit. Maybe we're gonna jump even, we're gonna stamp our feet and turn around too. So make sure you have a little bit of space, make sure you're ready to move. And we're gonna start singing, ready? So, oh, when you clap, clap, clap your hands, the monkey clap, clap, claps his hands. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey does the same as you. So it's just like that. You wanna try that one again with me? Oh, when you clap, clap, clap your hands, the monkey clap, clap, clap his hands. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey does the same as you. Oh, when you stamp, stamp, stamp your feet, the monkey stamp, stamp, stamps his feet. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey does the same as you. Oh, when you jump, jump, jump up high, the monkey jump, jump, jump up high. Monkey see, monkey do, monkey does the same as you. Oh, when you turn yourself around, the monkey turns himself around. <laughs> monkey see, monkey do, monkey does the same as you. <laughs> Good job. What was your favorite? Do you like jumping? Do you like spinning in circles? Or do you just like clapping? <laughs> it's all so fun. And I have another story for you about monkeys. <gasps> Can I see your monkey impression? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ooh. <laughs> and this one's gonna be on my felt board. So I'm gonna show you the monkey story on the felt board. Ready? Hi, welcome to the felt board. And this is a bed. But where are the monkeys? <gasps> are they gonna be jumping on the bed. This is called Five Little Monkeys. So let's get our monkeys. We have one, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. 
five. So five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. <gasps> but what happens? Four little monkeys, one, two, three, four, jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. But did they listen? Nope. Three little monkeys, one, two, three, jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. But then what happens? Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One, two. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey, one, jumping on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, that's what you get for jumping on the bed. Guess what? I actually have a second story on the felt board for you today. So ready? I'm going to show you another one. Hi. This one's called four little monkeys up in a tree. One, two, three, four. So four little monkeys swinging on a tree, teasing Mr. Lion. You can't catch me, you can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Lion, as quiet as he can be, and snaps. the monkey right out of the tree. Oh no, there's only three now. One, two, three. Three little monkeys swinging on a tree, teasing Mr. Cheetah. Can't catch me, you can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Cheetah, as quiet as he can be, and snaps the monkey right out of the tree. Oh no, there's only two. One, two. Two little monkeys swinging on a tree, teasing Mr. Elephant. You can't catch me, you can't catch me. But along comes Mr. Elephant, as quiet as he can be, and snaps the monkey right out of the tree. And only one left. One little monkey swinging on a tree, teasing Mr. Snake. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. But along Mr. Snake comes slithering as quiet as he can be and snap the monkey right out of the tree. And then away goes Mr. Snake as full as he can be. No more monkeys up in the tree. Ooh, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, ooh, ah, 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 <laughs> Can I see your monkey impression one more time? Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, ah. Thanks so much for monkeying around with me today. I hope you had some fun. I know I did. And that means we're at the end of our story time, which means we get to sing our goodbye song, which means you also get to wave. Can you show me your wave? Can you wave with one hand? How about two hands? How about over your head and down low? Okay, we're gonna sing our song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all of our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you so much. We'll have a new video next Friday, so I hope to see you next week as well. Bye.